All right, first thing let's do is go to the third person and we'll call this blueprint practice. If I could spell practice right, that'd be great. Okay. There we go. So here is our project. And what we're going to do is select this little ramp. And here's our ramp. And we're going to add a blueprint to this ramp. So in our details panel, let's go ahead and click on blueprint. And then let's add a blueprint by hitting select. All right, so here we have our blueprint. And I'll scoot this over. So here's our ramp that we were looking at. And what we're going to want to do is add a collision box to this ramp. And to do that, we add components, add, type in box, and here it is, box collision. So what we're going to do is we're going to build this collision box around our ramp so that we can make it do something. So I'm going to scale it. And it doesn't have to be perfect. This is just a practice one. Clearly not big enough. There we go. Okay, so we have our giant collision box, and it's good. So now what we're going to do is go to our event graph, and you can see, let me get rid of these. In this event graph, we have three items. Event begin play. So this is what happens the minute you press the play button and the game starts. This one will happen. Then we have event act, event actor begin overlap. So this is what happens when an actor touches another actor. And then this one, event tick. This one happens when uh, something happens every frame. A tick is basically like a frame. But we're going to work on overlap. So this is our overlap node, and what we're going to do is add a text so that when our player touches that hitbox, it's going to say something. So I'm going to grab this little executable, right? It's like a um, home plate, drag it over, and we're going to add print script. I'm sorry, print string. So a string is just text. So what we're saying is when the player overlaps the object, which is that little ramp, it's going to run this print, st print string. I'm going to open this up a little bit. And then I'll change this to, instead of two seconds, let's put it at five seconds so you, it doesn't go away right away. Okay, so when the actor overlaps the other actor in the string, it's going to say, I love IGD. Oh, looks good. All right, let's go ahead and check it out. All right, moment of truth. And there it is, you can see it in the top left, right here.
and each time it hits it again it's going to add another instance and it'll go away after however long you added the duration for and that's how you do it <laughs>